right. Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing on today? Guys, it is Sunday. It is Sunday. I'm about to go out the door. I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys, chit chat with you for a little bit. I tell you, it has been the last two weeks a little bit crazy, but life be lifing, right? Life be lifing. Um, I pray all is going well with you guys. So before I get started, I hope all is going well with you. I'm holding the phone to a certain extent. I don't have my other stand. So I hope you guys can see me pretty clear. Guys, I tell you, I had came down with the COVID and I said, I got to get back on. I got to get back on and talk to my people. I haven't, I haven't connected with my people. It's like I want to, you know? So I said, before I go out today, I'm going to get on and say hi to my people and send blessings to the people of God. Hallelujah. The beautiful, beautiful people of the most high God. Yes. I tell you, it's a beautiful day today. Today is Sunday. It's a beautiful day here in Delaware. And no matter if it was raining or whatever, it, you know, it's a beautiful day. Every day we wake up out of the bed and say, thank you, Lord, for this day. It's a beautiful day. Amen. It's a beautiful day. So I pray that all is going well with you. I tell you, I was just sitting up here thinking, and as I was in the bathroom, you know, guys, I always tell you the Holy Spirit, that's when he begins to speak to me a lot of times when I'm in the bathroom. So I'm in the bathroom, and I have this little picture up on the wall, and it says, um, no one can stop where you're going. And um, I might be phrasing it a little bit different, but it was saying basically that no one can stop, in other words, your destiny. And I want to talk about that because the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. He said, you know, tell my people, because he said, you know, a lot of times people feel as though they're on their track going to one direction, but it seems as though some things, some ones can, um, I didn't say that right, some people can stop what their goals are or uh, what they're trying to do you know they feel like oh well why did this happen you know just like when in the bible with job you know he he felt you know people were saying well what did you do what did you do you know they felt like he you know may have did something you know sinned or what have you but a lot of times people we as people we think to ourselves when things are not going the way you planned or you know um things happen life be lifing the first thing you want to say is this one's working against me that's one that one is working against me but that is a way of basically just trying to have a, a reason for why things are not working but nothing in this life will come easy if God has given you a vision to do something if God has given you um, a desire to do something then let that desire be strong on the inside of you enough to bypass what people are saying. No one can stop what God has placed on the inside of you. I want to say that one more time. No one can stop what God has placed on the inside of you and me. Those things that God has already called uh, into, a zis, in zis, uh, into a existence, it's already there. It's already here. He's already pray, paid the price. The word of God gives us, hallelujah, our, um, what we, what we, what we our, our, our birthright, our birthright, which meaning that everything in this world, he said, if you delight my, yourself in me, I will give you the desires of your heart. So if we are seeking, he said, if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and my righteousness, all these other things that you desire, whether it's starting a business, businesses, whether it's having children, whether it's, uh, you know, um, getting married, hallelujah, whatever your desire is, whether it's traveling, God is saying, I will give you the desires of your heart. But he says, seek me first, seek me first. See, that, I think we missed that part right there because we want these things to come to us. We want to be granted these things, but we don't want to take what it do what it takes to get those things. And that is a part of it. We can't just take out one ingredient and then uh, think that 
Okay, why is it not happening? Okay, what's going on? Okay, what did I do? God is saying, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Meaning that keep your focus on me. I am number one. I am number one. I am numero uno. I want to be number one center of your life. And everything else is going to come. It's going to be added. It's going to be added. It's going to be added. It's going to be added as you seek me. But you can't, we can't get around that part. You know, um, I think that's what happens is a lot of times we want to straddle the fence. We want to live like the world, be like the world, hang with the world, do the things that the world is just doing, you know. And at the same time, we're not keeping our focus on God. We're not really doing what he's called us to do in these last and evil days. You know, I'm not saying it's nothing wrong. I like, I would be the first to say, I like nice things. I would be the first to say, I like um, going out and enjoying life. There's nothing wrong with that. But I will also be the first to say that even in doing that, my focus and our focus should always be on God as we're doing those things. We can enjoy life. We can have a balance. But we also have to keep him number one in our lives, you know. And I know um, my grandmother was always known for prayer. She always, Amanda Moore, she was always known for prayer. And she loved to pray. Before you left her house, you had to pray. Everything was about prayer. And that's the foundation that my channel is built on is prayer. You know, um, I was raised off of prayer. My mother prayed for me. My mother was... Uh, a pastor she prayed for me I was raised in the church you guys know my testimony and so prayer is one of those things that is it's a foundation it's the foundation the Word of God also it comes with the foundation okay so it all works together all of this works together you know and so we can't say well why is this not happening we have to make sure that we are in right standing with God and how do we do that, Nay? By staying in his word, by meditating on his word day and night, like the word of God tells us. As we meditate on God's word day and night, we will notice that things will begin to change in our lives. As we take the word, eat it, digest it, hallelujah, use the word of God as the word of God says, it's medicine, it's medicine. Use it as medicine. And then we will notice things changing in our lives. Those desires will come to pass, you know, as we work on it. No one can stop anything. I just want to say that one more time. No one can stop anything in our lives. Only us, only we can stop those things if we give up, if we stop doing the things that it takes to get to that next level. Then you won't receive those things. God has already given us eternal life through Christ Jesus. He's given us the opportunity for this life, this journey called life. And he wants us to use it appropriately, you know, but keeping him first in everything that we do, keep him first. You know, I was thinking about the times where I just didn't know which way I was going, guys. I was just out there just like, you know, straddling the fence, you know, didn't know, you know, yeah, um, I, I, I'm just confused. And, you know, I, I was saying I'm, I, I'm, I'm saved and, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And, you know, you know, going out with people and, you know, um, just hanging around the wrong crowds, you know, call myself, you know, still praying here and there. But God is saying he wants more than that in us. He wants us to be really, really sold out for him. You know, he wants us to, you know, uh, keep our conversation, be watchful what we're saying out of our mouth. Because if we don't watch what we're saying out of our mouth and we're just saying, talking, talking to people that are negative, you know, some people can't help it, but they just, everything comes out of their mouth, they're negative. I've been around people and I'm like, oh my gosh, really? Every word is negative. Everything is negative, nothing positive. God is saying, cut those people off and stop listening to those negative words that are coming out of their mouth. You're not in agreement with it. When you're not in agreement with something, you don't need to be around it. If you're not in agreement, hallelujah, with doing things that is not of God, someone's doing some things and you know, you're just constantly just still being around them. God is saying, cut that off if you want to get to the next level. You know, God loves us and he speaks to us all the time. I am not exempt from anything that I come on this video and say because God loves us and he wants the best for us. You know, we may fall down, but we get back up as the, as the songwriter wrote. And so God wants us to just make sure that we are doing the things that we need to do to get to that next level. Get to that next level. It's not easy all the time, guys, but God will help 
us, God will help us. Amen. So I just want you guys to be encouraged. Know that God is with you. I pray that God, God is really blessing you through these videos that I give because I am doing it as unto God, you know, as unto God. Um, my channel is it's a blessing to a lot of people. They've told me, and that's my goal is for it to be a blessing to a lot of people. It's not about me, but it's about God. You know, it's about God. It's about, um, the life experiences that he's given me. I try to come on here and give it to you because I know that it's a journey. This life is a journey and it's nothing, uh, perfect in this life. We're not perfect. You know, there's no good thing in this flesh. You know, there's no good thing in this flesh. You know, I'm striving for perfection every single day just like you are you know and if i can come on here and talk to my brothers and sisters and give you guys something to eat and chew and and, and to hold on to even if it's a word or any type of word of hope i want to give you that i want to give you that i want you to know that i'm here for you guys i love you guys so much you guys have really really um allowed me to just really realize the importance of people because for so long, I allowed myself to close up and not really uh, feel like people were, you know, a lot of times even authentic, you know. And even um, through this journey of being on YouTube, it has opened me up so much, so much. It's even been a healing for me. It's really been a healing for me. So I, I'm, I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate the love that you give me, the comments that you give me. I always tell you guys, thank you so much. And I really, really do appreciate it. Guys, I do want to say before I go that be sure to like my videos as well as watch the videos because it helps the algorithm on this channel to uh, recommend the video to other people, to other to, uh, people that are out there that may be suffering in areas that they need to hear hope. You know, so please be sure to like as well as share the videos, comment at the bottom and let me know how the videos have touched your life. You guys are truly amazing. God loves you. He wants the best for you. He wants the best for me as we just bind our forces together and come together. I am going to be doing, um, just so you guys know, a live. It may be uh, on tomorrow, uh, which is Monday. Um, and it would probably be around Eastern Standard Time, uh, probably around five o'clock. It would be uh, alive. And I want you guys to make sure that you stay tuned and, you know, listen in on the live, you know, like the live. Hallelujah. Let me know that you're there. Okay. I appreciate you guys. Um, let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one of my subscribers. I thank you for their life. I thank you for the anointing on their life. I thank you for breaking and destroying yokes, Lord. Let them know, hallelujah, in the midst of everything that they're dealing with, that God, hallelujah, no one can stop what they have uh, coming for them. They, nothing can stop it. No one can stop the blessings that are overtaking their lives, that will uh, overtake their lives. I thank you and I praise you for my brothers and my sisters. Encourage their heart. Let them know, God, that you are with them even the more. Let them seek you even the more and draw close closer and closer and closer to you in jesus name i thank you and praise you for anyone that needs healing i speak healing over their bodies from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet i speak healing right now in the name of jesus i break and destroy every demonic yoke of negativity negative thoughts i bind up every spirit hallelujah that will try to attach themselves to them in any negative way in the name of jesus i speak healing healing in their minds healing in their spirits healing in their bodies in jesus name i pray amen and amen I love you guys. I truly do. I will be on tomorrow again, like I said, doing a live. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, you are what? A chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Mwah.